kids, Miss Kulkarni here. In this video, let's continue studying more things about matter. But mainly, we will talk about properties. And there are two types of properties, chemical and physical. So what do you mean by the word property? A property is a characteristic that can easily distinguish or identify a particular substance and these are few examples of properties and some are physical and some are chemical if you look at that you can identify this is boiling point melting point color shining luster how the substance looks and maybe look here the ability to rust the odor whether they're going to react or not okay so let's talk about physical properties a physical property is the one which describes the substance itself and we can observe or measure those without changing any chemical identity of the substance okay the physical properties have two different types one is extensive and other is intensive and what are those extensive properties are the one which will always depend upon amount of matter present so if the amount changes the property will change they will have different value what are some of the examples of extensive physical properties and i can think easily of length if i have a long ribbon and if i cut that into small pieces length will change and so will be area and so will be volume and of course there are many others now what is an intensive physical property those are the properties which do not never ever change or depend on how much is the amount of matter so maybe i can have one kilogram of a substance or gram of a substance or microgram it doesn't really matter those properties will remain still same what are the examples you can think about melting point, boiling point for liquids. It can be density. So you got it. Most of the time, those are some constants which we see in chemistry. And of course, there could be some other things like color. If I have a yellow color paper, I can cut into small pieces. It will still remain yellow itself. And there are, of course, many more examples of intensive physical properties. What about chemical properties? It's a whole different story. Chemical properties describe the ability of a substance to undergo changes that will convert them, transform them into a totally new different substances. So there will be always a chemical reaction that takes place for having a chemical change and that again goes back to chemical property. So what are some of the examples of chemical properties? Those are burning or flammability. We can also say combustion. Then there could be rusting, the ability to react and so on. Here's an example in which we have to identify different types of property. The first one is sodium is soft soft nature will remain same no matter even if we have a small or a bigger piece so that goes under one now since it's going to remain same irrespective of the amount of matter or size of matter that goes into intensity also let's move on there is silvery color if it's color that goes into two physical properties the color is not going to change even though the amount of matter changes so that goes into intensive then it comes density density again is physical property and that will remain same no matter how much we have that goes into intensive again now look at that this is two gram of sample the mass will change if we change the amount of matter so it's physical but it will be extensive physical property and then there's a 
metal which is ignited it's burning with yellow flame it's burning so that will be a chemical property so phi goes over here and then we have next one it reacts vigorously with chlorine gas so it's reacting that means that goes six over here and now it says sodium melts at 97.7 and boils at 883 these are melting and boiling point so those must be physical properties and they are going to remain same so you're going to group those under intensive physical properties so there we go i hope you guys enjoy the video i will see you again in next video until then bye bye